Welcome back. A Bible-based interdenominational Christian organization with memberships so far drawn from but not limited to the Anglican, Methodist, and African churches, Fountain of Hope International, FOHI, is the apex body of all registered Fountain of Hope societies in various churches in Nigeria and the United States of America. The first Fountain of Hope Society was established at St. Anne's Anglican Church, Molete, I hope I got that well. Molete. Molete in Ibadan in 1968. Mm. Well, they're planning something. And to help us understand what they're planning in this year is the chairman, Fountain of Hope International, Mr. Adebayo Adeneji Fashala. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure, sir. Also here is Mr. Adebayo Adewoyi, who's the Secretary General of Fountain of Hope International. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, Mr. or rather, Brother Adeniji Fashala. Yes, sir. 1968 till date. Yes, sir. Fountain of Hope International and still transforming. How easy has it been? Well, let me correct the impression. Fountain of Hope St. Anne's was established in 1968. Then when the Western state was... Uh, Ogun Oyo was carved out of the Western state. Then the civil servants went back to their various states of origin and established in Ogun State, Fountain of Hope in St. John's Anglican Church, Igbe. It was in 1988 that they came together to call Fountain of Hope International. Okay. So technically, Fountain of Hope International has been in existence for 30 years now. So we've been able to have uh, about 131 chapters in Nigeria, two chapters in the United States of America. That's why we are international. I hope that answers your yeah. question. Mm. How easy has it been? Well, it hasn't been easy. It has been through the grace of God that uh, we may be able to sustain the membership growth. What about the vision? Well, the vision of Fountain of Hope is to evangelize and bring more souls into the fold. Some chapters have established churches. Some are bought up pipe organs for their churches and all what not. So that is uh, what we do in Fountain of Hope International. Okay, Sek Jane. Thank you. He talks about it's not been easy, but it's been a focused journey, more or less, to keep the vision and then to keep the membership growing. Tell us, how does the body run? I mean, you look like you handle the day-to-day -day running. How does it run? Thank you. As he said, our vision is to bring everyone into unison in the body of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we have an apex international organization, which is the Fountain of Hope International. We then have in Nigeria, for example, where we had grown to 131 chapters, we then have these divided into zones in Nigeria. So in Nigeria, we have eight zones. And we look at geographical contiguity, affinities. So the chapters are societies in different churches. Now we're talking about, so far, the African, the Anglican, and the Methodist church denominations. So a society in a church is a chapter. Chapters are grouped together into zones. So the zones are led by zonal chairmen. The zonal chairmen walk through the deputy chairman. And then we have the chairman of the Fountain of Hope International. And we have a secretariat in Ibadan. The secretary general does the secretarial administration, the coordination. We also have two chapters in the United States of America, which are affiliated to one of our zones so far. So it's been zonal chapter to, through the zones, and then from the zones to the apex international organization.
Mm. Okay, so Mr. Chairman, you have this, um, you're like a body, as I say, many parts but one body. Yes, sir. But you have this thing you planned for this year, things of a lecture. Yes. With the theme, Bridging the Leadership Gap, a Nigerian Imperative. Yes, sir. So why now? Why the lecture now? And then what's with the theme? Why did you choose that theme? Well, when we look at the fact that we are going to have election in February next 2019, we felt that it is imperative to have something that will suit the situation that we are in as a country. Mm. The guest uh, lecturer is uh, John Momo, who happens to be the chief executive, chairman, chief executive officer of Channels. He's uh, graciously agreed to be there on the 27th of October, as next week, Saturday, at Archbishop Vining Memorial Cathedral, Oba Kinjobi Way in Ikeja GRA, from 11 a.m. And where we say 11 is 11. There is no African time with Fountain of Hope International. Mm. We keep strictly to time. And uh, he also is very, very time conscious so, because we know he's a very, very busy man. So that uh, by 11, we'll do the lecture. Thereafter, we'll do the fundraising for the hostel project. We have an hostel 